In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your Excel reports fully dynamic by using the frames functionality in the Excel reports package, which comes with the Pro Edition. So these two packages here are indeed built with the same template, and as you can see, they correctly adjust for the different table lengths. So let's see how this works. This is our template here with all the placeholders for the tables and things like date, which is all over the place. Now I have set the table length here to two rows and accordingly formatted a table with two rows here. So now when you run that, everything is fine as I have formatted the table to be precisely two rows here. But if we go back and change our config here and say that we would like to have six rows in each table and rerun that report again, then you will see that we have actually two problems. So the first one is the tables are overriding each other. Then the second one is really that the table formatting isn't applied correctly. So you can see here, I have the bars, conditional formatting and some percentage formatting of the numbers, which doesn't get carried over properly. So let's see how we can solve that easily. Simply insert our frames marker in the first row. So what do the frames marker do exactly. So frames, they define the vertical containers starting here all the way to the right until it either hits another frame marker or the end of the documents. So in that case, it's a two column layout. So I'm going to actually create two frames. So I have this vertical container here and then the second one starting over here, which then terminates at the end of the document. And then the second piece that we have to do is we're going to format the tables to have exactly one header row and one data row. And so that's really it. And we can just rerun that uh, report again. And we should now have a completely dynamic result which adjusts for the table length, which is indeed the case. So as you see, we have a, a correctly applied conditional formatting here and we have pushed everything below the table correctly down. So we have the sources in the correct place here, the as of date, and we have all the content which comes below accordingly also pushed down. And that's really how easy it is to use frames, which will take care of aligning your dynamic content on your report.